it's time to talk a little bit of recruiting. Want to talk some recruiting? Let's talk some recruiting. Everybody loves recruiting, right? That's the kind of the big thing. So I'm going to run through five recruits in the 2023 class. Excuse me. 2024 class. I'm still I'm the graduates for 2023. 2024 class. Five recruits who have not committed yet, who I believe Ohio State have on the top of their wish list. Okay. These are guys who, if they had a recruiting board, like the draft boards and in, in NFL rooms, these would be the top five guys right now that they are aiming for, that they are putting all of their recruiting attention into. These are um, big time guys that we need to we need to get some of them, and I'm going to share with you why and what to look for based off of the tea leaves that we are reading. So, Chris, are we ready? Let's do it. Number five is defensive end Elias Rudolph. He's 6'4", 205 pounds from Deerfield Beach High School in Deerfield Beach, Florida. He is formerly from the state of Ohio. He just moved to Florida this past season. He's a Northeast kid. He had uh, He's ranked 222nd nationally. Uh, he was 15th. He's 15th at his position at defensive end. He's the 34th highest ranked recruit in the state of Florida. He was top 10 in the state of Ohio. There is one crystal ball for him, and that is for Ohio State, Chris. I would put our percentage of getting him at about 65% right now with room to grow. I think he's kind of taking his time in the recruiting process. I do believe Ohio State's in the lead, but I also believe he is acclimating himself to the state of Florida. Does he like it? Does he want to stay there for college? Or does he want to come back home and play for the Buckeyes? I think that's where we're at. I'm going to give it a 65%. Um, we need to uh, kind of get in the flow of the defensive line recruiting. Uh, we're kind of late to the ball uh, ball game in that position group for this class. He would be a big get if we could nail him down. He does not have a date nailed down for an official visit yet to Ohio State, but he has been at Ohio State uh, before he moved to Florida. So we do have a leg up in that area. Chris, do you have any thoughts on Rudolph before we go to number four? Well, I think it's important, like you said, to start getting that defensive end spot again. I mean, We've had such a great history at that spot. Um, I think it's important to get somebody like Rudolph because he has played in Northeast Ohio, so he knows what it's like to play in these elements. Yes. Uh, you know, and the fact that he's actually an Ohio kid who's living in Florida now puts my mind a little bit more at ease that if he does commit, he's probably not going to flip. Right. So typically right. you see Florida and you say, okay, well, he's going to commit, but he's going to flip. Yeah. Yeah. I, I that... feel a little bit better about him than I do most. Those Florida kids, after they commit, continue to love to be recruited. Yeah. Uh, number four is safety K.J. Bolden from Georgia. He's 6'1", 185 pounds from Buford High School in Buford, Georgia. And if that school sounds familiar to you, it should because that's the same high school that one Harry Miller came from, Chris. Yeah. Uh, he is ranked 11th nationally overall. He's the top ranked safety slash athlete in this class. He's the third highest ranked recruit from the state of Georgia. He has his official visit scheduled to Ohio State on June 16th, and the top four schools currently, according to 247 Sports, that are hot to trot on him are Ohio State, the home state Georgia Bulldogs, Clemson, and Auburn. I'm going to give us a 25% chance we land him. Four schools there, no crystal balls in yet. This guy is phenomenal. If we can land him, he will help to win a national championship for you by year two or three because he is awesome. So Safety driven defense. Yes. Th those three words, that and the fact that if you can get him away from Georgia, that definitely takes the competition down a notch as well. That's the battle. But here's, here's the good news. The Ohio State Collective's are ramping up for this these boys okay Good. there's a there's a lot of buzz that ohio state's in the ballpark 
and can swing and hit some dingers when it comes to paying out some NIL deals for these top guys. And he's one of them who Ryan Day and Jim Knowles have had, have on speed dial to bring him in for this class. So we'll see if they can land that. Number three, let's go to the offensive line. They want one more tackle in this class, Chris. Despite the fact that we have four offensive linemen already committed, um, I think three of them from the state of Ohio, one from the state of Indiana. But this one is one of, if not the best offensive lineman in the class. His name is Brandon Baker. He's 6'5", 285 pounds. He plays at a pretty prolific high school, Matter Day High School in Santa Ana, California. He's ranked 23rd nationally. He's the top-ranked offensive tackle in the nation, according to 247 Sports. He's the top-ranked recruit in the state of California. He officially has his visit scheduled for Ohio State on June 9th, and this sounds like this one's going to come down to Ohio State, Georgia, and the home state Trojans, USC. I give our percentage to get him 50%. He likes the Buckeyes. Well, let me tell you something, uh, Brandon. The Buckeyes love you, too, because we need some offensive line help. Uh, you, you know, we want to make sure that we can protect these great quarterbacks that we've been recruiting. I think it's important to get that O-line uh, and D-line solidified because that's where you win it is in the trenches. Um, I, it's great that we've gotten all these hometown kids and from Ohio. But, you know, number one tackle on the board, you got to go after this guy. you got to land this guy. I, I can't help but feel, Chris, that seeing Paris Johnson Jr. go as the first offensive lineman off the board is going to help. That's going to yeah. help a little bit. Donald Hoffer makes a very good comment here. I think we need to take the brick-and-mortar approach with a serious focus on the O-line and defensive line. With Brian Hartline as the OC, the quality skill players will keep coming in. I agree. You win championships up front. Yep. That's where you win them, right there. Offensive line and defensive line. I think we've got the defensive line to win a national championship, Chris. I think it's there. Oh, it's there. Question is the offensive line. Let's see what happens there. Number two, cornerback from the state of Ohio, Bryce West. He's 5'11", 177 pounds. He plays at uh, Glenville High School in Cleveland, Ohio. That's a pipeline for us. It has been. A hundred and uh, he's ranked 175th nationally, 16th at his position. He's the fourth highest ranked recruit in the state of Ohio. There are currently seven crystal balls for him, all of which are pointed to Ohio State. Um, Michigan was in on him early, Chris, and it looked like this was coming down to uh, the loserines and us, and it still looks like that's going to be the case. But I'm going to put uh, our percentage of nailing him down at 85%. I think Bryce West is going to be a buck guy. I hope so. I love this kid's game. And let me tell you, you mentioned Glenville High School. You, you know, the tradition of guys that we've had coming out of there, the uh, you know, Ted Ginn Jr., Troy Smith came out of there. Uh, I believe uh, Rabisky came out of there as well, didn't he? Brian Rabisky. Wasn't he out of there as well, I think? Mm, I'm not sure about that I, one. I, I'm pretty sure. But you know what? Just the tremendous athletes that we've had come out of there, you know, just they've done so much for us in the past. And I think that this is a must get for so many reasons. One, again, I've watched the kids' video, I've seen him play. I love what he does on the field. But Eric, we cannot, cannot lose recruits to that state up north, especially when you're talk, talking about top flight defensive recruits. Yes, um, I agree with you completely. Uh, did you mention Marshawn Lattimore? He's from Glenville no, too. Sean as well, yeah. Uh, he's from Glenville as well. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a huge pop line, a pipeline for us. We got to keep that baby open. We cannot let uh, Harbaugh put a tap in that pipeline and start sucking guys away from there. Um, we actually are on another recruit from the same class, a tight end too. He's just not a part of my top five group here. Number one is Aaron Scott, cornerback again from the state of Ohio, six foot, 170 pounds from Springfield High School in Springfield, Ohio. He's ranked 35th nationally. He's the fourth highest ranked cornerback in the nation, and he's the number one recruit in the state of Ohio. There are three crystal balls for him. All of them are slightly pointed to Ohio State. Um, and we are in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, combat battle with, with the team up north for this guy. And, and he's taking phone calls from both. Actually, Bryce West and him both are. Um, 
these two guys, it is an absolute war right now recruiting uh, with Mich- with Michigan and these guys. Rumor is is that we are calling them every day, and so are they. And do you think there's this is a tandem, Eric? No. Do you think the quarterbacks could go as a tandem? I hope they do, and they come to us because yeah. we could use them both. Because these are these are probably two of the best cornerbacks that have come out of the state of Ohio in a while. Yeah. And if we can get them both, um, yeah. But there's a rumor floating around that when one of them commits, the other one's going to commit to the other school. I don't. I hope that's not true, but I've heard that rumor, and. You know, it's kind of like, well, which one do you want? And I'm like, I want them both, right? <laughs> uh, I want them both. So I'm really surprised Wisconsin is in it on the Scott kid with Springfield because Luke Fickle did real well recruiting Springfield when uh, he was at Cincinnati. I think Wisconsin's a hard sell for an Ohio kid. It is, uh, especially if you're top flight, right? If you're yeah. if you're a if you're a high four or five star kid from the state of Ohio, Wisconsin's going to be a kind of hard hard sell. Um, for recruits, the brass ring is the NFL with the past several years drafts that sure gives the bucks a leg up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Larry, but here's the thing. Cornerback has not been that great for us in the last couple of years. Um, you have to go back to what Denzel Ward to really have a cornerback. That's really succeeded in the NFL on a high level that came out of Ohio state. Um, I mean, yeah, we had, um, uh, Okuda, Okuda, but he's he struggled. His name has kind of fallen off the radar in the NFL. Well, he got let. About Eli Apple. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, now hold on. He's had a pretty long career in the NFL. Yeah, you, you, you know who else has had a pretty good career? Everybody he's faced on the opposite side. As a Bengals fan, I feel that man. I felt that. <laughs> You Cleveland Brownies fan. Hey, we get to face each other in week one, I believe, if I saw the NFL schedule. That's correct. (laughs) That'll be a fun night. 